corruption. They create that avenue for each of them to lose money. Mm. Because you know how much how much subsidy they remove from for this thing? Billions of naira, bros. And where is this money going to? How do okay? Who are the cabas? If you do have a very strong government, will somebody say will somebody come before your government and say, eh, yeah, some people call cabas. So is cabas more stronger than your government? I think in Nigeria, I think it's somehow it's true. Is it because people it that we are even putting there as our leader, they are all saboteur. They are all saboteur. People that we put there too, they uh, they know each other. Mm. They know each other. Uh, okay, is it why time now? Should be that time when I do who? We get ready to what I do now. They are cabals. They know each other. Okay, you want to tell me that the 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 oil well in the Niger Delta now belongs to the Niger Delta people. No. Why do you tell me no? The way Nigeria has been operating, I don't think. Um... If that would have been truth if you are doing this uh, regional government. But this system of government, I, I, I don't think it's true. Nigeria, oh, uh, all the Nigerian data oil well is being shared among the billionaires of this country. But we cannot do that in the north. We just have to be sincere with ourselves. We are one Nigeria. But something like this cannot happen in the north. Somebody uh, like uh, Tiofilos Danjuman, Tiofilos Danjuman, Najukuma. Is from Taraba State. He owns an oil well in the Niger Delta. Does that place look like his father's uh, his <laughs> father's land? <laughs> yes. No, we just have to be sincere with ourselves. From Taraba. From it's from Taraba. Mm. Najukun. And he holds oil well in Delta State. I'm telling you. So does that place look like his father's land? No. Mm? No, no. We have them many like that. Sure. There was a time that um, I think the military, Nigeria military, found illegal refinery. We Riva have State. more illegal refineries in Nigeria. And, that, and if, I think they found like uh, 15, 5,000 to 15,000. Illegal liters. refineries in the Niger Delta, in the Niger Delta, in the South South area, is just like normal filling station where you are going. You know, he's the one that was, they see, they will tell you that they see. Even the Nigerian, Nigerian Navy, Nigerian Army, they were being accusing of stealing the crew from here to abroad. They were being accused of prison. I could agree with you because I think that time they didn't harass. I don't think they harassed anybody. Bros, do you think ordinary Nigeria we have the mind of you fueling a sheep, a talk? Ordinary Nigerian. Do you think ordinary Nigerian will be able to have that mind and do that? To move your crew from here to abroad, if not for the backup of some uh, big men in Nigeria. Whatever, see, <laughs> as we are saying, they need, we need a very strong hand. We need somebody that is very, very intellectual to repair this. Now. Even Peter B of tomorrow. Cannot repair Nigeria in four years. Cannot put Nigeria in place in four years. We cannot put Nigeria in place. Peter Obi, he cannot put Nigeria in place in four years. Because Nigeria is in total disarray. Mm. It's beyond, be, as in beyond to repair, beyond repair in four years. You know that Nigeria will not be okay. But me, I'm telling you, this will last us for like 15, 20 years. The way we are doing now. The way we are going now, because if we don't put that we have to put naira in place naira have to be our number one this thing whatever things we are doing naira it must be on naira do, do, somebody said that this naira note that we're seeing is only value in nigeria territory so far you step out of nigeria territory to another country it's it, useless bros even in your even in your country it's useless already it's useless already because when i said so what you buy with 1000 naira last year will you be able to buy it this year with, with that same amount you would see this year but what i brought is 1000 naira has changed this year this year this year, this year we are mm -hmm. same so know that uh, there is only a brother the naira does not have value even in my in our country the the dollar did not have any value anymore why because of the corruption Nigeria is not productive and we are looting all this money. 
and we're not exporting anything to the foreign market. Bros, nothing. Nigeria is not productive. Like during the COVID, uh, this thing, I, um, I was talking with one of my friends during that COVID era in Lagos. Ah, yeah. So, but we, we did hear that American government gave his uh, citizen so, so amount of. Oh, if you sit on that, see, you cannot compare Nigeria with that country. Do you know what that country. Do you, do you know his what? United States. United States of America. Do you know his what? He's playing the world leader. You cannot compare country like that with Nigeria. President, no. Bros. So if America decided that I'm giving my citizen 1,000 US dollars, he worth it. Because corruption there is not as, is the way the corruption there is not as the way we carry it here. Mm -hmm. We all know that this person is a, is a thief. He, he looted our money, but when he gets to the court of law, the court of law will be in support of that person. Hmm. You have a lot to do. I think to me, I think you have a lot to do with that in Nigeria, my constitution. That, that, that is my own problem. Because immediately you are being as uh, you have you have won the uh, Nigeria presidential election, mm. you will be the one to answer who is going to be the chief of justice. We have this the same place mm. with the carry matter. Mm. Bros. Me see putting you in the place to judge me. And you are seeing me as a uh, where you call people where they stand for I don't yeah. forget them. Uh, uh, Nami, uh, but you get case. Uh, now Nami will put you where you want to be the case. Uh, you are the you are the no, I'll be the accused, I'll be okay. uh, you are the complainer. I will what, do. So what are you still expecting? The bros. <laughs> and that humility or whatever you call it the other kind that it, it, it doesn't give you um, privilege for you to arrest somebody that is an uh, andre or uh, andy and we are office. getting it wrong adding an office but that is we we are getting it we wrong will go. they later let out of that office they later finish that and the switch mm, nothing will happen to nothing them will still happen. that is where we are getting it wrong there's no scapegoat say okay it's only the poor that faces the wrath of the law yeah the rich doesn't. It's only the poor that faces the wrath of the law. Somebody that looted your uh, looted the treasury of a country needs to be dealt with. And you can this cannot be done in the Western world. But the black man, black man, black man says, okay, you do looting billions of naira. You see, you go there if you see any billions like of naira or corruption. If you try and for China. Maybe if he's like a prisoner for not Korea, yeah, not dead. But even in China, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Even in China. How do you see, okay, the present situation of this country now? If it is in the Western world, I said in Argentina, six prime ministers under six uh, under three months. Six presidents under three months in Argentina. Before Mille came in. The president's one. He's a economist. He's an economist. Mm. Oh, this guy came in. Six prime uh, six presidents on that three months. And this one came in uh, and he's ah this has gone beyond repair. I hear by resign. Resign. But have you ever seen where a black man he resigned? Resigned from his post. <laughs> and he knows that this thing I cannot I can I won't be able to handle this. I cannot deliver. I cannot deliver, but you will, will never resign you would rather you would rather spoil that in more i will spend my time hmm. if it is white man now uh, if you like the, uh, president, uh, uh, the president prime minister of the united uh, kingdom now mm. that's in uh, uk okay most of maurice johnson resigned the next one i forget uh, Kamala, I mean, uh, 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 before this uh sunak yeah, also, also, also resigned did also resign Tell you get yes, it's what we call politics. That is what we call politics. Their uh, constitution allows that. Our constitution do say that you can resign from your post, but none have ever done that. None has ever done that. They would rather make sure see the whole thing spoil. I will spend my time. Dear. I will spend my time. And it is not like that. It, it is good and for you to have a good. You already know that he cannot deliver. They know, uh, please, 
can you tell me if you bow that are not, bow the one that are not really which of them did, did, did you ever listen to their manifestos did you ever carry their manifesto televise their manifesto publicly to everybody to see their manifestos no politicians won't do manifestos what is going to be in their manifestos and uh and we construct we will construct we will build schools schools that schools where we say they don't build 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 road they don't build so there are no any other thing you can put in the manifesto i think the last person that i do that done that is uh, yaradua that provided seven points agenda y yaradua and the seven points agenda that time. i see that is the only man nigerians would have enjoy me, I'm telling you, this uh, this present administration, if, if, if it goes and uh, another administration is coming, yeah, people, if you vote to go out, you are bringing Obi in. Bros, Obi cannot solve the problem of Nigeria in four years. The problem of Nigeria cannot be solved in four years. 